Welcome fans to this week's edition of the WT Coaches Show. I'm your host Kelton Weens and we have softball coach Kevin Blaskowski in studio with us today. Now coach, we haven't chatted since you came back from Florida and went to Disney World. How was that trip? Well, it was an enjoyable trip. It was, uh, it was a lot of fun to, to get out of region and go play against some very good competition. Uh, the games with North Georgia, both of them being extra inning games and, and, and really a national championship game type atmosphere. It was a lot of fun to have the two and three teams in the nation going at it. And, and I think we, we, we did Division II softball right and the ESPN people really enjoyed it. Uh, we had some fun while we were there and, and uh, really enjoyed that trip. It was a good way to wrap up our non-conference schedule. Now, Coach, we've now worked into conference play, and it hasn't started off quite the way that you wanted to. Uh, tell us about that. Well, uh, we opened up with a very good Tarleton State team, and uh, they're always tough to play at Stephenville, and, and their pitching was outstanding uh, all weekend long against us. We, we, we did not uh, solve their pitchers at all. Our approach at the plate just, just never was able to create enough offense. And um, they did a good job. They hit a couple of long balls and, and up and down the lineup. They, uh, they, they really did a good job against us. And we were flat. It was, it was a flat weekend. It was a frustrating weekend. So, you know, and then we got the, the big series uh, sweep against Midwestern State to kind of even things up. And uh, that was big for us. We had a lot of offense against Midwestern State. And uh, I think we put up 12 home runs that weekend and really kind of felt like we were hitting our stride offensively. Uh, and then this past weekend, we go down to Kingsville, which is a tough trip. And uh, uh, even though we won the series, I wouldn't say that we played exceptionally well, other than the fact that I was proud on Saturday that we dug deep and found a way to win. And uh, maybe that's a sign for us. You know, we're a, we're a relatively new team. I mean, we have eight returners and, and 11 newcomers, and uh, a lot of those newcomers have to learn what playing in the Lone Star Conference means. Uh, and a lot of our returners have to step up and realize that, that people have books on them and uh, they have to rewrite those books. They have to be better at the plate, we have to be better in the circle, and uh, it's, a, it's a great challenge, but, but hopefully we're starting to turn the corner. Now, Coach, over the break, Megan Slattery hit a historic Grand Slam. Uh, what has she meant to this team and what does that Grand Slam mean for you and for her? Well, it's, it's really big for Megan because Megan will be the first one to tell you she's not happy with her season to this point. You know, she's, uh, she's been really up and down offensively and hasn't really been able to find that groove that she's had the last couple of years at the bottom of our order. And for her to be able to come out and hit that home run, especially against Midwestern State, a team that she's hit big home runs against all throughout her career, uh, was really special for her. And, and hopefully it's going to be something that she can build on and, and use now to really kind of to, 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 to prepare herself for the second half of our schedule and, and, and hopefully have a, a big second half for us. Now also over the break, Kim LeCompte came, became the all-time career leader in hits at WT. She's a senior this year. What has she meant to your team? Well, I think that Kim's probably the best player that's been in our program to this point. And she's obviously one of the best players I've had a chance to coach in 20 years. And for her to now start to be able to, to set some of those career records and really leave her legacy in our program is, is really a special, a special time each one of them happens. I think the Lone Star home run record was huge. Uh, when she set that last year and she continues to build on that this year and then it was fitting that she broke uh, the hits record uh, with a home run uh, during, uh, to, to set that record and then hit the walk-off home run to win the game uh, which was her 50th home run of her career so Kim's had a great career and hopefully now these records are going to be able to allow her to really uh, etch her, her, her name in the, in, in the history of our program and really leave a legacy behind for other players to, to try and live up to. Coach, final question. You have a big series against Angelo State this weekend at home. Tell us about that one. Well, the last couple of years, the Angelo State WT series have become, become great weekends and, and a lot on the line. You know, uh, this, this, this weekend will be no different. Angelo State could be the number one team in the in the country. The poll comes out tomorrow and we'll see where they are. They'll at least be number two. So they're a great offensive team right now. They're putting up big numbers at the plate. Uh, they're well coached. You know, they have a great history of being in the NCAA postseason year in and year out. And, and we feel like over the last couple of years, we've We've played well against them. You know, we beat them in the in the series down at their place two years ago, and we won the series here this year or this last year. And then uh, 
beat them in the conference tournament also. So uh, they're going to be ready. We're going to be ready. And, and I just hope it's going to be a great weekend. It's a special weekend for us. It's Military Appreciation Weekend. And we're going to invite all the uh, military personnel of the Panhandle out. We've got some really special recognitions uh, scheduled. And, and we just hope it's a great weekend at Lady Buff Yard. Well, Coach, thank you for your time this morning and good luck this week. Kelton, thank you. Coming up after the break, we'll be chatting with baseball coach Matt Vandenberg. What makes WT Athletics unique? I do. I do. I do. I do. And so do you. Yes, we have great facilities and championship programs, but it's the people that set us apart. It's me and it's you. Without our athletes and without our donors, we are just an organization. An organization without a cause, without a voice, and without a purpose. Thank you for supporting the Buffalo Club. For more information, please visit GoBuffsGo.com. Go Buffs! Welcome back, Buff fans, to the WT Coaches Show. We have baseball coach Matt Vandenberg in studio with us today. Now, Coach, you completed your first conference sweep in almost six years this weekend against Cameron. Your bats really seemed to come alive. Tell us about that series. Yeah, it was a really good series for us. I felt like uh, we played well in all three phases of the game, hitting, uh, pitching, and defensively. Um, it, it's good to get off on the right track in the Lone Star Athletic Conference. Uh, you know, anytime you can get a sweep in this conference, is, it, it's a good weekend. Now, Coach Patrick Ramirez was named LSC Hitter of the Week. What can you say about his play this season? Uh, Patrick's done an outstanding job. Anytime you can get uh, offensive production out of your catcher uh, is, is just a bonus for you. Uh, and, he, and he's actually leading the conference in hitting right now, hitting 465, I believe. Had a great weekend this past weekend, hit close to 700 over the weekend. And uh, he's just done an outstanding job. He's a kid that wants to be in the lineup every day. Uh, he was actually hurt. Uh, part of the series this past weekend and still wanted to be out there and actually came up with uh, two, uh, two game-winning hits for us in two of, the, two of the four games. Now, Coach, you've only had one conference series so far this season, but you're undefeated in LSC play and you're 15-4 and four overall. What's been your secret to success? I think our guys are playing hard. They're competing. Uh, and that's one thing that we've talked to them about all year long is just get out there and compete every day, no matter what the score is. Uh, you know what game it is you know sometimes game four is a tough game on a, on a weekend series and our guys have just done a really good job of buying in and competing every day and wanting to fight and uh, you know wanting to try to to win the Lone Star Athletic Conference and host a regional tournament and all those things uh, you have to have a good record in order to do those things. Coach it seemed like the fans really turned out this weekend for the series games they helped give you a home field advantage what else gives your team the competitive advantage at home? Uh, you know, number one, we did have some great crowds this weekend. Uh, Friday, Saturday, and Sunday, uh, the fans around Canyon, around Amarillo definitely came out. Uh, we loved seeing a lot of, you know, our, our stands full. Uh, you know, that was in the two years that we've been here in Canyon, it was the best, best home crowd that we've had. Uh, so we're really excited about that. But also, you know, our field is one of the nicest in, in Division II, uh, if not across the country. We love our field. Uh, it's a great home field advantage, and our, our guys love playing at home. Finally, Coach, you have a weekend series against Tarleton and Stephenville. Tell us about that one. Uh, you know, Tarleton's really a tough team. Uh, they also coming off of a sweep of Eastern New, New Mexico this past weekend on the road. Uh, so they're one, one of the toughest teams in the conference. Uh, they pitch it really well. Uh, you know, we know we're going to have to get our bats going and, and, and swing the way we did this past weekend. And anytime you go on the road in the Lone Star Athletic Conference, uh, you're just going there and, and trying to survive. And, but we expect to go there and win a series. We really do. Well, Coach, thank you for your time and good luck this week. Thank you very much for having me. Thank you for joining us for this week's edition of the WT Coaches Show. For more information, follow us on Facebook and Twitter. For the WT Sports Network, I'm Kelton Wings.